What's up grappling fans, the Road to Worlds is back. This year for Road to Worlds, we're going bigger, we're going better than ever before. East Coast, West Coast, International. If there's good Jiu Jitsu, we'll be there and we'll be bringing you guys the best content you could want. All of the best blogs, all access, interviews, training rounds, you name it, we're gonna have it. All right, here in the Amazon. All right, get ready. We'll be in Brazil, the Southwest, California, the East Coast. We're visiting as many academies as we can until we end up inside the Walter Pyramid. The first episode goes live May 19th. All roads end at the Walter Pyramid for the IBJJF World Championship. But until then, you guys sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the road to Worlds. Four. One, two, three. Power! One, two, three. Check it out! What's up everyone? Good morning. It is 7 a.m. here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm outside of Marcio Andre's Academy. We're gonna have a small group this morning. Marcio told me there were about eight to 10 dedicated athletes here. Let's uh, go check it out, see what we got here. Hey, hello guys. Welcome, welcome to my house. Let's start here. Okay. So normally when the new guy come, they come from the door like here. Hey, look who it is. Hi. <laughs> so that's our, you know, our selling place. So here we're gonna change this because the kids hanging here all the time. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna put like something different. We have we have like around six bathrooms at, at the gym. So we have this one, right? So and then they they got here and they, this is the main main mat. And we're having now the 6:30 a.m. class. So with Coach Denning. So here is the we putting out together, we're making our we putting out the my medals and stuff, pictures. That was bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now they drilling, alright, they own sequence. Most of the times we do a lot, right? Sequence is like on your feet, right? Start sand, and then you're gonna do a fight situation. So where you pull guard, right, sweep. Pass the guard and submit. So you're gonna pretty much go all the way to the submission. That's your goal, right? You can tank it down too, so whatever is your game. And then we just go over and re we repeat that a lot. And, but sometimes you have something specific, as I said, for you, you know, without the camera. Like, when they have something specific to work, they just go over and they already know what to do. So we, we've been talking about this since the tournament and it's just fixed now. They drill look better every every time. Every rep look better. Learning from Marcio is incredible. I mean, he's super technical. The cool thing about Marcio is that he's been a black belt since 2014. So he's kind of competed against and trained with like people across generations. So he had the world's final with Hoffa. He's fought Cobrinha. Now he's fighting guys like Fabricio Andre. So Marcio is like the type of guy who's always improving his game. He's super technical and he's always bringing the latest techniques to us. So it's amazing to learn from him. Who should people be looking out for here? 
There's quite a few people. I think Maurice Ramirez is one that people, some people probably already know. He had that win over Colabate at the Pans last year, which was incredible. Won the Worlds as a purple belt in the featherweight division. Now he's a brown belt. He's going to be back at featherweight. So uh, Damien Hosokawa just won the Pans at the light feather purple belt division. Just got his brown belt, which is really cool. But Damien's another guy who's been competing at a really high level for a long time. He's been training since he was a little kid. Just started training with Marcio a little bit more recently, but since he started training here with Marcio, his game has just really exploded and he's really kind of come into his own as a competitor. Yeah, so Eliza won double gold at the Europeans, double gold at the Pans, and then she won the lightweight division at Brasileiro and got third in the open class. And Eliza's a pretty cool story because when she first came here, she was kind of, she was doing well as a competitor, but she would kind of get second quite a bit and she'd win some local tournaments, but never really bridged that gap and was winning these big IBJJF majors and then once she started putting some time in under Marcio she her results just kind of really took off. Now is the second part of the train and right? we drew for two hours. That hours change so sometimes more sometimes a little less with another intention so now is the the specific grips you know what I mean that we you we, we use in, in competition in fight right so the straight grip when you're trying to tank it down and stuff and then every single one gonna be like out related with the uh, with jiu jitsu. Let's go. Yes, very good. Let's go isometric. Another one. Just go. Yeah. If you need to walk back, to do more pressure. Walk back. Let's go. Right there. Right there. Face forward. Face forward. Bring yourself. Yeah. Show. 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 Come in. Come in. More. Good. for 10 seconds, eight rounds. Uh, first eight rounds is guard pulls, and then we do eight rounds of takedowns, and then eight rounds of guard pass. As fast as we can, 20 seconds, and 10 seconds off, and then back again, bum, bum, bum. You can't, can't really get used to the pain, man. It's, it, it's, it's, it's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be there. Whether it's Damien, Kaelin, or... Marcio just likes to see us struggle. He's gonna be young at us the whole entire time, just trying to kill us. It's terrible. Wait, it makes us better. See me doing. Let's go. Breathe a little bit. Thank you, that ain't true. Let's go. Ready? Go. Yes. No need to move him too much. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Push up. Push up. Yeah. Oh, 
second. Next is back specific. I'm gonna do some specific on the back. One and a half, person on your back, attacking, trying to submit you, you defending, trying to escape. 40 second rest, and then do it again. Here, yes, right there, like both ends. going amazing everybody's super ready the students doing great we training really hard so I think I think we we prepared really well I mean we've been training for life right? uh, we, we we've been proving as I said we trying to 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 grow you know step by step and I think we're ready for this year I think we're gonna do good and I can't wait I mean like man uh, where did this girl come from? Where this guy come from? Like, what, what's happened? You know what I mean? They, they, where they train? How they winning? It's because they just decide to commit, and then the result come. You know what I mean? I feel, I feel that's the the secret. And it's not really a secret, right? It's hard work. Uh, I feel that hard work always pays off, and if you pay the price, you're gonna get it. You know. Okay guys, just uh, packed up my stuff. First session is done at Marcio's. You may have noticed that there was no rolling in that session. I'm gonna come back later this afternoon for the second training session of the day and it sounds like there's gonna be some, some live rounds, some sparring, and we'll get into some more fun then. How are you doing guys, ready? Lois in the house, if you guys know. This is the second session here at Marcio and Dre Jiu Jitsu. It's an hour long class. Uh, a mixed group with competitors and the uh, regular folks like me. Gonna be a little bit of rolling, I believe, in this session, so let's see what happens. Go!
all the hard work we put in, you know, every day. I'm here like eight hours a day, you know, with my brothers, my my team, you know. It's like, it's all the work, work we put in, you know, it finally pays off. And then we're all going for that moment, you know, once a year. You've seen, there's like a handful of us that train really hard with each other every day. And it's just so cool because like a lot of people at the gym are looking to us and like supporting us. And it, like everybody supports, like the kids, the parents, our teammates. So it's just really special. I... <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good for Worlds. Um, I'm, I don't know what to expect from myself, but I'm expecting a lot of my teammates to do well, and I'm just really excited to go see everybody's work. I feel good, man. I feel ready to go, um, despite you know little bumps in the road. Uh, I'm still very confident in myself and and the work we put in. You know, uh, we we're constantly evolving, making mistakes. I want to make as much mistakes possible. You know. Uh, as, as ironic as that sounds, you know, I hate losing, but I want to get all these bumps out of the road before black belt, you know, so that's, that's the goal. Um, I think it would be amazing if I won gold at Worlds. Um, it'd mean that like all the hard work that I've been putting in is like paying off. And it'd just be, I don't know, it'd be super amazing. Right guys, amazing class. See you guys tonight or tomorrow, okay? Feet together. Skate! Good job. Bamboo.